A state lawmaker from Philadelphia in Cumberland County today touting one school district's powerful project. Fox 43's Marshall Keeley explains the bill that could help more schools get off the grid. They're soaking up the sun and powering education. Carlisle Area School District completed a $2 million project more than a decade ago, filling the fields near Wilson Middle and Bel Air Elementary with hundreds of solar panels. It's fantastic for our buildings that we are using our own energy that we're creating in Carlisle, and it's fantastic for our kids because it's a learning tool that they see every single day. Carlisle School District installed these solar panels in 2010 and 2011. Since then, they've been able to save about 14% in electricity costs and power the elementary school. This building, Bel Air Elementary School, is completely run off the solar panels. So, I mean, the, the economic savings to the district is incredible. If the schools don't use the energy from the array, the district can sell it. Democratic Representative Elizabeth Fiedler believes the technology could save Pennsylvania schools millions. She sponsored a bill that passed the Pennsylvania House of Representatives last year to create a grant program that would help districts pay for their own through a state investment of 50 to $100 million. Solar for schools helps schools save tremendous amounts of money by installing solar panels either on the roof or the grounds. And then the school, the local school, gets to decide how to reinvest those dollars. I really think that it takes us to a new level. I think the technology, since we put this in, is even better. Fiedler says federal dollars could also help schools cover 30 to 50 percent of the initial cost, bringing federal tax dollars back to Pennsylvania. She says the bill has bipartisan support, but it would need to pass the Republican-controlled Senate as budget talks ramp up. We will see what happens, but I remain positive about it. Marshall Keeley, Fox 43 News.